Oh my god. Hey, it's Che. Welcome back to my channel. I'm joined by Wesley. Hey guys. If you're new to my channel or this is just your first time seeing our faces, please hit that subscribe button. We would greatly appreciate it. You guys, Freeform has released their lineup for 31 Nights of Halloween and we are here. We are going to look through it. We are going to see what Freeform deems as the Halloween content of 2020. In previous years, there have been many people complaining that they show the same thing over and over again, that some of the movies that they put on are not Halloween movies. We're gonna dish the dirt. I remember looking at previous lists where they're showing like Toy Story 1 and 2. Great movies, but not 31 Nights of Halloween worthy movies okay Truly. so i'm ready to be critical about this list i just love freeform so much but like childhood abc family 13 nights of halloween like this really takes me back not only am i excited for the halloweenness of it all but also just for like the nostalgia that this list yeah. is going to bring and i think that seeing what movies are going to show and everything is just going to catapult us into the halloween spirit i'm ready baby let's go okay, here we go let's see what is up i am on the 31 nights of halloween instagram go follow if you don't please go follow you guys we need 31 nights of halloween to have as much traction as we can so that they can have better lineups in the future yes. but before we judge let's just go ahead and see exactly what's going on i'm so nervous i'm sure everyone has already seen this list if you haven't seen the list and you don't want spoilers you can go look for yourself but we are about to go through all the movies i'm not going to give times because everyone has yeah. a different time zone yeah, so yeah. just you know if you want to look at the list we're just going to go through um, but if you want to know check your local listings <laughs> okay so up first october 1st we have can you guess hocus pocus how did we know hello they do it every year it's a classic it's a staple um, I think that this has kind of become like the quintessential Halloween movie yes. for this new generation, like our generation. Mm -hmm. So it totally makes sense that they're going to show Hocus Pocus first. The question is, how many times are they going to show it after this first showing? My guess is 45. Literally. You know, I cannot get enough of Winifred, Mary, and Sarah, but we actually have already watched Hocus Pocus twice this year. Yes. So... Listen, it's on Disney+, Plus. it's on Hulu, it's on our DVD player. It's on my eyelids when I close my eyes. Literally. <laughs> it's memorized in my brain. Literally. So it's just too easy to watch it. So yes, we've already watched it a few times this year, but that doesn't mean we're not going to watch it at least a few more times before October 31st and maybe after. All right, next up, October 2nd, we have The Nightmare Before Christmas, which of course, classic, of course it has to be included. I think that Nightmare Before Christmas is a great October 2nd movie, similar to Hocus Pocus. It's really kind of like embodies Halloween oh, for yeah. a lot of people, myself included. It's a great movie. Watching it will really just like push you into that Halloween spirit. Yeah. October 3rd, we have The Addams Family and The Addams Family Values. Love it, love Classics. it, love it. That's Such another- good movies. Yes, great movies. Another staple for the free form, 31 Nights of Halloween. That's another one that they're gonna show a lot, I'm sure, but it is an amazing movie. Wednesday Addams, my queen. Oh my God. One of the queens of Halloween, for sure. Literally, so. Christina Ricci has made some of the most iconic Halloween movies. We're talking Adam's Family, Casper, Cursed. Who could forget oh Cursed? Oh my God, gotta love Cursed. Let us know down below if you've seen Cursed. <laughs> Don't go watch Cursed, it's so bad. <laughs> we collect so many Halloween movies. I was going to buy that for like three bucks at Movie Trading Company and he accidentally bought it on Amazon. Bought it um, on Amazon. Not even like the actual copy of the movie. It was just like for your library and he paid like almost 10 bucks. It was like 7.99. And it was like... <laughs> and then we so watched, I had never funny. seen it. So I was like, okay, well let's watch it. Like it's Christina Ricci, it's gonna be good it was so bad Girl. and now it's like forever cemented in my amazon prime library mm. i couldn't even i tried to return it it wouldn't let me i was like cool october 4th we have a repeat offender who do you think it is hocus pocus of course hocus pocus will be shown october 4th why are we repeating something so soon there are so many movies that they could show 
It's because it's a classic. I know, and, it's a you classic. Know, the more simple people don't have it on DVD, so. October 5th, we have Beetlejuice. Amazing. Which, of course, they're going to show Beetlejuice. Who wouldn't want to watch Barbara and Adam Maitland get sucked into hell? Pretty much. I consider Winona Ryder like truly one of the like Halloween queens. She is just so mm -hmm. good. This movie is just, I think, one of the best Halloween movies that isn't technically a Halloween movie, but still very like fall vibes to yeah. me. This is a big one that's really nostalgic because it just takes me back to watching it when I was little on 13 Nights of Halloween. October 6th, we have Hotel Transylvania, which of course, duh, hello. A more modern classic. Yes, very cute. Love a Selena Gomez. Moment. Oh my god, Selena, girl. October 7th, we have The Simpsons Treehouse of Horrorthon, which, oh, Horrorthon. That. I hope they love show it. all of them. I hope they show every single one. I'll watch it all day. October 8th, we have Goosebumps, Love and Arl oh, Stein. Oh, the movie. Moment. The movie with Jack Black playing Arl Stein. I did enjoy that. It felt like Night at the Museum on crack, but. I felt like it could have been scarier. Honestly, I do think that the Goosebumps TV series from like the 90s was much scarier than the movie was, which, you know, different generation, different yes. taste, but honey, the taste is in the 90s. Yes, I yeah. don't love the first Goosebumps movie. I honestly thought the second one was a lot better. The second one is good. A lot better. Um, but yeah, the first one might skip. I'll just go watch the TV show on Netflix. Also the same day, October 8th, we have The Addams Family and Addams Family Values once again. And October 9th is also a repeat, can you guess? Hocus Pocus. It's a bit much. It's a, it's a bit much. But you know, we love it. I will watch all three. Listen, I'm <laughs> I'll not, watch all three now. Yes, I'm not mad about it. There's more opportunities for other things, you know? Yeah. Well, October 10th, we are getting a huge soiree of oh my God. movies. We are getting Casper, 1995. Christina, hello, duh. Love it. We're there. Incredible. Also, we are getting Hotel Transylvania 1, 2, and 3. So keep your eyes open. Wow. All three are so good. Three is Summer Vacation. It's the least Halloween-y yeah. of the three, but I still think that it's a good movie. Yeah, they're all fun. Go little movie marathon. October 11th. Annie and Hallie's birthday. Oh my God. Annie and Hallie, happy birthday, October 11th. October 11th is Twitches <gasps> and Twitches 2. Honestly, I've always thought that the Twitches movies were very oh underrated. God. Tia and Tamara Maori are the quintessential witches. We're talking top tier witch, <laughs> literally. <gasps> that is a video we are going to be doing. We are going to be ranking witches. Yes. So stay tuned. October 12th, Adam's Family and Adam's Family Values once again. Hello. Repeat offender. And then on October 13th, we have Hocus Pocus. Girl, come on. We love a Hocus Pocus moment but you are drowning us just so that we can keep the mm. tally going that's four hocus pocus in 13 days mm -hmm. and three of the adams family each so six adams family four hocus pocus so 10 movies in 13 days like we said great movies but a little much and you know here's it's the a thing. little much i understand that there are contracts involved there are movies that have to be played a certain amount of times but sweetheart there are other movies <laughs> and you know what maybe we will do like what our 31 nights of halloween lineup would look like because sweetie this is not it there are more than five movies yes available for watching on Halloween. Just thought you should know. Okay, here we go, October 14th, The Simpsons Treehouse of Horrorthon once again, followed by Beetlejuice, which Beetlejuice, 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 Love maybe it. he will show up and change the channel. <laughs> okay, this You're, is- You got me excited last time for nothing, so. the day that I am most excited Oh my about. God. October 15th. Ooh. Scream. Scream 2 and The Craft. Oh my god. <gasps> Iconic movie. And you movies. know what? It's not like we haven't seen these movies this year already. We honestly have. We have watched Scream 1 and 2 at least three or four times this year. Yeah. And we saw The Craft a few months ago. But yes. you know what? I literally will still watch. They are so iconic and staples in the horror community. So you guys buckle up. The Screams ready. are movies that I can just watch over and over and over and over and over without getting tired of them. Same with The Craft. So anyone who hasn't seen these movies, you need to be on Freeform on October 15th because you need to educate yourself and watch these classics. Educate yourself. Okay, October 16th, are you ready? I'm 
ready. So are all the other toddlers around the world because it is Disney and Pixar's Monsters, Inc. Which, you know, I it's get monsters, it. it's cute. Love Monsters, Inc. It is not a Halloween movie, mm -mm, sweetheart. Mm -mm, mm -mm. But I understand why they would show that. And right after... Toy Story? No, it's okay. Monsters University. Okay. Which, okay, I actually don't even know that I've seen Monsters University. <gasps> it's so good. Don't sue me yet. It took long enough. It oh my took God. a very long time to get to this point. October 17th, Halloween Town and Halloween Town 2 Calabar's Revenge. Sweetheart, we love. Oh my God. Two of my all time favorites. Mario. Those are like peak childhood me. Marnie Cromwell is my icon <laughs> and my go-to style fashionista. Yes. I will always bow down to Kimberly J. Brown. And October 18th, we have The Addams Family, Addams Family Values. Once again, iconic movie. So iconic, we've got to show it 75 times in the month of October. Just in case um, you missed it the last 24 times. Literally, but you know what? October 19th, my little sister's birthday. Shout out to Rebecca. Hey girl. Hope you're watching The Nightmare Before Christmas. Sure, it's only the second time. It is, I'm, you know, you know it's the second time. So that's fine, because the other one People was like watch it. October 2nd. Mm -hmm. So they gave you like, it's like a full two weeks before they yeah. show it again. I get it, that's cool. Love it. We don't need it again. Maybe one more time if you have to, but. October 20th is a better day for us. It's okay. Ghostbusters and Ghostbusters 2. Love. Fun, love, who are you gonna call? I actually haven't seen the second one. One. So oh. this is gonna be an opportunity wow. for me to finally educate myself oh my God. Catch up on Ghostbusters too. bust that ghost October 21st. We have the Simpsons Treehouse of Horathon once again Love the Simpsons and I hope that they can predict some other things <laughs> in the future like a more diverse lineup for 31 nights of Halloween The thing is I know that there are a lot of those Treehouse of Horror episodes So maybe they're showing different ones the optimist in me. Maybe hopes. they are. That would be Could great. Could be. Speaking of, what is your favorite Treehouse of Horror? Um, I don't know the names of them, but I think um, my favorite would be the one where they're like in The Shining. Yeah, that's a really good one. Um, and one that's always stuck out in my head is the Nightmare on Elm Street one where groundskeeper Willie is like mm. killing them in their sleep just because yep. I'm a, a big Nightmare on Elm Street fan. I want to watch more of these, so we'll see. October 22nd, we are getting something new. We are getting the mummy. Love to hear mummy. it. <gasps> 1999 never Africa. seen it oh my god this is the first time that i'm like genuinely pumped because i have never seen that and i've always wanted to wow daddy brendan fraser love him worth looking at you honey um after that is the mummy returns part two sweetie gotta we watch are it here for the mummy and i i can't think maybe they've shown the mummy on 31 nights of halloween before but i can't think of a time they have if they have i think it might be like maybe only in the last like few years yeah. when i didn't have cable so i wasn't watching so like i like that this is a new edition that they're showing you love that it's a new edition that they're showing yeah because after that they are showing hocus pocus <laughs> that's number five number five everyone and after that the nightmare before christmas no it's actually the corpse bride Love The Corpse Bride. Great movie. Tim Burton, masterful. Love him. October 23rd, we are going to be seeing Little Miss Christina Ricci Woo. again in Sleepy Hollow. Oh, you guys have no idea. Johnny Depp, Christina Ricci, Sleepy Hollow. What a grand movie. Honestly, my macabre little heart dies each time I watch it. I'm <laughs> just glad that they're finally popping off a little bit more in the second half and giving us some different movies to watch. Mm -hmm. Love it, some some faves, some classics, so good. Well, October 24th is a good day and it's actually a free form premiere because Ghostbusters 2016 will be premiering on free form for the first time. I actually oh, never saw that. Oh, me either. And I'm very sad to say so because it is like a feminist twist on Ghostbusters and I'm here for it. That yeah. Kristen Wiig, Melissa McCarthy, Leslie Jones, like we are talking an iconic cast. Love it. Kate McKinnon. Oh. This is another one that I'm wow. genuinely excited to watch. Me too. So thank you, Freeform. We're looking forward to something new. Something new, but not on October 25th. We are gonna be getting Hocus Pocus for the sixth time. October 26th, we are getting Hotel Transylvania 2 and 3, of course. We've got, to, we've got to give the little kitties something to watch. Yeah. Um, I prefer that over Monsters, Inc. So at least it's more of like Halloween. Yeah. yeah. But you know what? 
the most Halloween-y movie we're gonna see on this list is coming on October 27th. Hocus Pocus. <gasps> Thank God, I was really scared that I was gonna miss it the other six times I'm it was so on. I'm so scared I'm not gonna get to watch it. So I really hope it's on here again. Yeah. October 28th, are you guys ready? Well, listen, we're in the hot zone now, right before Halloween. What are they showing? The ultimate hype is, you know, it's, it's going up. So it is. what are they giving us? Are you ready for it? I'm ready for it. Monsters Inc. and Monsters University. Are you ready for October? October 29th. We are like, this is like so anticipation. Close. Oh my God. Okay? We are going to be watching The Nightmare Before Christmas. Love it. And Sleepy Hollow. That's a good, good choice. That's a good, good that's choice. A good, good choice. It's a good one to show. Yep. Are you ready for the day before Halloween? Woo, Halloween Eve. What's it going to be? It's gonna be the Adams Family and Adams Family Values. Here's the thing, I love that movie, but it's like, I want to see something else. Yes. And I understand that not every American is gonna be in front of their free form watching all of these movies. I get it, but you know what? They would be if you had the correct lineup. <laughs> That's all I'm gonna say. It's just... I know, I get it, I get it, but like, I just have so many other ideas in my head of movies that are not on this list that could have been shown. And let me guess, the 31st is Hocus Pocus? It is. They do it every year, it's no they surprise do. to me. So that makes what, eight for Hocus Pocus? Mm -hmm. But after Hocus Pocus... Oh, we're getting a marathon. We are getting... Nightmare Before Christmas? Ghostbusters. So... Wait, which one? Original? The original. Okay. Maybe not the movie that I would want to watch on Halloween day or night, but... That's what we're getting. Fine. And we have no choice. Yeah. Because we are prisoners of 31 Nights of Halloween. Yeah. Hmm. We're super excited for the 31 Nights of Halloween. I can think of so many movies right now that should have been on the list. Coraline, Paranorman for... Oh the, you know, the kids. Um, I know they used to always show 13 Ghosts. Apparently they're able to get DCOM, so they need to be showing Mom's Got a Date with the Vampire, Under Wraps. Where's Little Vampire? The, the Little, little vampire, vampire, Sweetie. The Lost Boys, I can just think of so many. You guys, we have a huge Halloween slash horror collection right over there. We will show you exactly all the movies that they should have been showing yeah. on freeform and you guys can just come and have a little watch party with us instead no shade freeform it'll be a blast and i'm saying this like i'm not just gonna have freeform playing on my <laughs> tv 31 days straight of Literally. course i will but it's just saying they could have had a few better choices at times you know what, Freeform, hire us next year for your lineup and you will not be disappointed. Down in the comments below, let us know what movie are you most excited for this Halloween. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. We would greatly appreciate it. Also, if you are not already subscribed, please go ahead, hit the subscribe button so that you can stay up to date with everything that is going on with us. We love you guys. Thank you for watching and we will see you in the next video.